there are tools that any business needs. I'm talking about essential tools like email with your domain, cloud storage, productivity and collaboration tools. Well, Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace are all about this type of tools. My name is Carlos and today we will review two of the most popular and probably best set of tools available in the market today. Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. I do not intend to describe feature by feature and compare them. Instead, I will try to give you a vision of the most important features that I think could give you the key points to make the best decision for your business. Let me tell you that I have been working with hundreds, probably more than a thousand, small and medium-sized business during the last six years and helped them to decide and set up Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. This subject could generate a controversial discussion if you already have some preferences for either Google or Microsoft. I may have my own preferences as well, and I would try not to reveal them and of course not to be biased. If you notice it, please feel free to leave your comment down below and also tell me yours. In my experience, both services are two of the best available in the market. With no doubts, you will find many businesses using one of the two services with successful stories all around the world. I think it is a good idea to start by understanding part of the history of Microsoft and Google and learning some of their differences. First, Microsoft began developing their products in the offline world. They started creating operating systems for personal computers in the 80s. Then, back in the 90s, Microsoft developed the first pieces of the Office Suite, which only work offline. Users needed to install them in their computers. Users never need to be online to use the tools. Then, in 2013, Microsoft started moving the Office Suite to the online world, with the name Office 365. With it, they incorporated their cloud email service based on Exchange. Then Office was renamed to Microsoft 365 in 2020. On the other hand, Google was born in the online world in 1998. Google started with their search engine and quickly became synonymous with information. Then in 2006, Google launched its first version of collaborations, productivity and communications tools, originally called Google Apps for your domain. In 2016, Google renamed it G Suite. And then in 2020, it was renamed again as Google Workspace. Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace have similar tools in terms of functionalities. Both provide the email service with your domain name as part of their core service. I would say that for many businesses, at least for small and medium sized business, it is the number one reason why they purchased Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace. Both services offer a very robust email platform with a lot of functionalities. Aliases, forwarders, large mailboxes, email rules, ability to manage multiple domain names, security, calendar, contacts, task, synchronization with all your devices. When referring to their email service, their main differences come depending on the plan that you purchase. With their most affordable plan, for example, Microsoft offers 50 GB with the Microsoft 365 Basic, and Google offers 30 GB with the starter plan. When upgrading the service, you can get 100 GB for Microsoft 365, and 2 or 5 TB with Google Workspace. I have to say that the storage for Google Workspace is shared between the mailbox and Drive the cloud storage for your files. With Microsoft 365, the 50 or 100 gigabyte is only for emails, I mean for the mailbox. But you get apart one terabyte in one drive, which is the cloud storage for your file. This is an advantage for Microsoft when comparing their cheapest plan, but become an advantage for Google Workspace when you have the two or five terabyte plans. You don't need to worry about the storage of your mailbox. Another difference between their email service is the ability to reply 
as an email alias with Google Workspace. Microsoft 365 does not offer that. When you need to reply from a different email address, you can use something called Share Mailbox in Microsoft 365. Here, I have a video that explains how this works. If for your business it's important to reply as an alias, I think Google Workspace could be a better option for your business. Now, Google Workspace has been designed mainly to be used from their webmail. The Gmail interface, however, you can still configure your email account in any mobile apps, and it works as great as Microsoft 365. If you want to use your Google Workspace account with, with Outlook, for example, there is an app that you can download and it will allow you to work with it. Here, I have another video that explains how to set up Google Workspace with Outlook. The Microsoft 365 email service is originally designed to work with Outlook on your desktop. You can take full advantage of all Outlook functionalities when using the Microsoft 365 email service. I would say that if you or your users want or need to use Microsoft Outlook, then Microsoft 365 could be a better fit for your business. In regard to productivity tools, both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 have their own set of productivity tools that can be used online. You can access them from any device. With Microsoft 365, you get Excel, Word, and PowerPoint online. With Google Workspace, you will get Sheets, Docs, and Slides. Then for email, you get Outlook Online for Microsoft and the Gmail interface for Google Workspace. If you purchase Microsoft 365 Standard, not the cheapest version, you can also download the desktop or offline version of the Office Suite. They are much more powerful than the online version. If you need to use Microsoft Office Suite desktop version, then Microsoft 365 Standard could be the best option for your business. Now, both online versions, Google Workspace and Microsoft 365, offer similar capabilities. The big difference is when you need to use the offline version, the one that you can download and install on your desktop. Here we have a brief view of the different plans that you have for Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. You need to be aware that you will need to pay for a license for every user on your business. Now, Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 is much more than email and productivity tools. They have very important and useful communications and collaborations tools like chats, video calls, file sharing, versioning, security, administration. These are tools that you also need to consider when comparing Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. In our next video, part two, I will discuss some of the considerations that you need to keep in mind. I hope you have found value in this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comment or question, just leave it down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, it is free and it helps me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.